Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. My name is Dylan, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Earthrise War for Cyber Anthology Netflix Soundwave Battle Pack. And this is a very, very special figure of mine. I really do enjoy this version. Now, today I will be doing some comparisons with this with these figures. Um, and yeah, so you got a nice image of Soundwave on the side of there. Turn to the back, you got your product shots him in his cassette mode and you got him right there 19 steps you got ravage and laser beak on the top of the box you got transformers more than meets the eye and you got the autobot signia so here you got some nice artwork and then right here transformers and right here you got netflix and now that's it for the packaging now coming to our friend here our favorite communications officer soundwave I love this guy. This guy is one of my favorite figures of all time of Soundwave, and I love him. Now, I'm going to talk about his accessories. Maybe. I'm not sure. Excuse me. Um, uh, so, I did change out some things on this figure. One, his arms. I gave him the siege arms. And two, I also gave him the siege weapons. So, he looks more cartoon accurate now and that is what i want to go with the sound wave on look very cartoon accurate because the sound wave i'm going to be displaying in my collection um and not instead of the siege one and yeah so now we're going to take a look at his cassette city game here we have ravage and ravage so this this black and white uh cassette um it says made in japan right there it's kind of hard to one focus, 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 focus. Here we go. It says made in Japan. Um, it's got this number right here. You got the Decepticon insignia. Really, really nice detail on them. And oh, I dropped them. Ah, he fell. Ah, sorry. And his transformation is pretty simple. So first, you're gonna bend him down, and you're gonna. And you're just going to raise these parts back and bend this and swing it up until you hear a click. Come to the arms, fold those down like that. <sighs> On mine, that part likes to come out a lot. It's annoying. I had to fix it. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Or my sound wave hates me. And so do his little cassettes. So. I think it's lined up. Yeah, sorry, it's lined up. Okay. And then you're just going to rotate the, the feet. You do want to have you might have to angle up these feet here. I have big gut. I have big hands. So here we go. And get out his feet. Come on. There it goes. And once you do that. You might want to move that down like that. And you just got to angle everything. And when you're done, you got to get in here and grab his head and flip it out. And there is Ravage in his robot mode. And I dig it. I really, really dig it. Um, I'm going to go over Laser Beak when we get into the cassette mode. That's the more iconic one, but I want to get Ravage out of the way. He's got these nice missiles on the side of him. He saw most of that detail, and he has these beautiful chrome eyes. And yeah, that's it for Ravage. Articulation, same. It's just pretty basic. He moves his arms, legs forward, head goes up and down. You know, the basic articulation for Ravage. And he just fell down on me. God damn you, Ravage. There we go. Right, there's Ravage. Now we're going to focus on Soundwave. So here is Soundwave, and he just looks phenomenal. I mean, look at this Decepticon. Stop falling over, Soundwave. The back is amazing. <laughs> Sorry. The back on this guy is amazing. Like, I mean, the shake test, I mean, he will stand. It's just that his, his knees are really annoying sometimes. I mean, you can see the nice look of him. He looks good. He looks he looks solid. Um, 
He does have the tape deck function, so you can put other minions in there. Um, and I like him. So pose ability, his head is on a three, on a ball range. He gets wheelie waggly. Arms 360 degrees. They can go in and out. Um, he has a swivel here, and he also has a double bend here. Uh, legs. If you flip up this thing, you can get forward that far, and you come to the butt flap. You can get out back that far. He has a 90 degree bend at the knee. And he has an ankle pivot. He also has a waist swivel. And that is about the detail uh, for sound. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show that ankle pivot. There's an ankle pivot. I think I forgot to show the ankle pivot. And, uh, yeah, really, really nice. Um, I love this guy. And now we're going to do some comparisons. Let me grab back. Okay, so here I got two figures to compare them with. Here is Soundwave next to Earthrise. Optimus Prime. You can see how they look together. Here he is with my last review. The treacherous prick we all know and live here is with Starscream. And facing off. And yeah, that's our comparisons. Now to transform him, his transformation is so much fun. Fun. That that's gonna get annoying. Trust me, that's gonna get very very annoying. <laughs> and no, he doesn't wanna. Do it. I mean, he's a nice figure. He's just got... So I have a couple quality control issues with mine. And uh, yeah. So transformation actually is pretty fun for this guy. First, you're going to do this. And then you're going to take here. And you collapse the gun. In, and you're going to set that right there. And then you're going to come to the arms. Swivel them around. And fold them up. Rotate him at the waist. Fold his head in there. Like so. And then you're going to fold his arms back. And then once you come to the back here, these are going to snap snap together. So, and then you're going to come to the feet, swivel them here, come in here, get your finger there, open this up, close up the foot, and fold this up and clip it into place. Hang on. Make sure that's really nice and clipped into place here. Okay, do the same on the other side. <sighs> Come on, sound wave. There it goes, there it goes. Okay, we got it. And then do the same on this end. And then you're just going to take it and clip it in there. Come under here this out and peg it down see mine doesn't want to peg down but there you have the cassette mode and wow this guy really does um he compresses down he, he's a cassette he's very small cassette um weapon storage he does have weapon storage in this mode so you plug this right there if i'm not mistaken you can use the batteries as you can use the guns as the batteries. So now he has batteries on the back. So now you can have him play music if you want him to. Um, the tape deck function still works. So yeah, now we're going to do the tape deck function. So I have a laser beak here. You just slide him in. And there you go. Tape deck works just fine. Comes right out. There you go. So now we're going to talk about his partner in crime at laser beak. This guy looks great. Our music week. There we go, camera. He looks good. I really do like the colors of this figure. Uh, he looks great. I really do like the yellow and the red and the blue. And his transformation is pretty simple. So you're going to fold these down. Open this up. Come in here. What I like to do is I like to fold this up and then fold that down. And then rotate the head up. And there you go. And uh, here we go. I like this laser beak. This laser beak is good. He's cute. And he is awesome. I really do like the details. Especially with the eyes. Come on, focus. Sorry, the camera's all not blurry. Alright, and then you can see. He's got the nice Decepticon insignia. Right there. He's got a nice Decepticon insignia. He's got these yellow eyes. 
and yeah he looks good he looks really good and uh, yeah that now let's get Soundwave into his tape deck mo into back into his robot mode so we can get his final thoughts okay here's my final thoughts so I'm gonna give Soundwave a 9.5 out of 10 the reason why is the ugly the this does not want to connect and um that's pretty much it um, I do love everything. The posability is good. The robot mode is good. The tape deck mode is phenomenal. It is really nice. I'm not going to do bluish compatibility or anything like that because, you know, that was just... Oh, whoops, he fell over. Um, because, uh, that's just, uh, that was just a little experiment and I just didn't really feel like it was worth it. Um, but if you guys pick him up and you guys have the blast effect parts, um, go for it and just test him out. With his blast uh, comp capabilities, blast that uh, capability. Um, I really do like that you can put laser beak on his arm and he can perch. Um, I really do like that he has the light piping transformation. It's very fun and it's phenomenal and it's intricate and it's simplistic and it's fun and both the modes are very good. Um, yeah, this has been my review for Earthrise and Netflix Soundwave. If you guys do come across him, he is $40 in the U.S. He's a Walmart exclusive, so good luck out there. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, everything will be an appreciated gesture. So thank you, and be good people, and roll out.